When loading or unloading pigs at a barn site, drivers must put on sanitary protective clothing to protect their cab, their trailer, and the barn from transmission of disease-causing agents. Drivers should make sure to have two sets of clean coveralls in their truck cab for every pig transportation event, one for loading and another for unloading. In this scenario, to keep his clothing clean, the driver puts on a set of clean, laundered coveralls in the cab. Notice that he does not let his shoes touch anything outside the cab while he is doing so. This prevents him from bringing any dirt that the truck may have picked up back into the clean cab. Drivers should treat their truck cab as a clean area and avoid allowing any dirty clothing, equipment, or containers to touch the inside of the cab. The driver has put two garbage bags in his coverall pockets for future use. Drivers should always make sure to carry a couple of garbage bags in their coveralls for biosecurity purposes. After donning his coveralls, the driver puts on three layers of boot covers over top of his shoes. Notice again that he does not allow his shoes to touch anything outside the cab while they are uncovered. The driver then puts on two layers of gloves. He then exits the cab and proceeds to the back of the trailer. The driver opens the side access door. and then climbs the ladder. Be extra cautious when balancing on the ladder. Your safety is a higher priority than biosecurity. At the top of the ladder, he pulls one garbage bag out of his pocket and removes the outermost layer of disposable boot covers, making sure this layer does not touch the inside of the trailer and the layer underneath does not touch the ladder. He then removes the outer layer of gloves and disposes of both the boot covers and the gloves in the garbage bag. He then ties the garbage bag to the outside of the trailer for use when exiting the trailer. The driver can then proceed to load or unload the trailer, never stepping from the trailer onto the loading dock. Upon exiting the trailer, the driver removes the next layer of boot covers and disposes of them in the garbage bag. He does not let this layer of boot covers touch the ground and does not let the layer underneath, the last layer of boot covers, touch the inside of the trailer.
On the ground, he removes his bottom layer of gloves, disposes of them in the same garbage bag, and then proceeds to the front of the trailer. Making sure to keep his boot covers on over his shoes, the driver takes off his dirty coveralls. He then tosses them inside the other garbage bag that he's been carrying in the pocket of his coveralls. He also puts the bag that contains the used gloves and boot covers into this garbage bag. And then he makes sure the outermost garbage bag does not touch anything outside the cab. Upon entering the truck cab, the driver removes the last layer of shoe covers and places them in the garbage bag. He makes sure the boot covers never touch the inside of the cab, and his uncovered shoes never touch anything outside the cab. Dirty clothing, equipment, and containers must never touch anything inside the truck cab. If you have the ability, dirty clothing should be stored outside the cab, and the coverall should be properly laundered before their next use. He then sanitizes his hands and sprays any surface he touched while entering the cab with disinfectant spray. Cabs should always be equipped with clean coveralls, shoe covers, disposable gloves, garbage bags, hand sanitizer, and disinfectant spray. If you do not have a side door to access your trailer, and must instead walk through the barn or on the loading dock to gain access, try to avoid contaminating your coveralls, and put on another pair of clean boot covers before entering the barn or standing on the loading dock. Remove them and the next layer of boot covers just underneath them before entering the trailer. On exiting the trailer, you must reverse the process and don another pair of boot covers while walking on the dock or in the barn, and then remove them before touching the ground. We recommend that transporters install a side access door to avoid having to enter through the back of the trailer by way of the loading dock.